Hi everyone, I am back with a, um, another video on some more journal kits that are very similar to the last uh, floral spring kit that I put together. Um, I had several people email me on that kit, so um, there was only one, so it went right away. But I, I did tell them that I was going to make more, so I did that, and I am back to um, just walk you through the contents of that kit. I'm going to try and be really fast because, as you all know, my kits are just full of all kinds of stuff, so it takes me a little while to get through everything. And since I don't have a whole lot of memory on my phone, I'm just going to go through it really, really quickly. Um, I will show you the pattern papers first. So there's that one there. Really pretty color palette. It's using the same paper collection. This is the um, one by Paper Studio called Country Road. Beautiful papers, you guys. Nice and bright colors. Super, super pretty. And then um, your papers are cut at 8 by 12. And then here are your offcuts that you can always use for tags or pockets or um, journaling cards, whatever you would like. This kit has everything you need um, to put together a really pretty journal, everybody. So here's your cover. This is a 110 pound card already scored down the center. So this kit um, will make a single signature journal. So um, there's 15 sheets of the craft paper. If you guys would like me to substitute it with the um, white coffee or white copy paper or even the pink copy paper I'm more than happy to do that for you all um, you can just let me know when you email me that you would prefer um, one of those instead so um, 15 sheets there and then you've got your um, music sheet there's a ledger sheet You've got one of those um, pages from the, um, the flower book there. Super pretty. You've got a couple of these dictionary pages. And you guys, these dictionary pages, the weight of the paper is really nice. These coffee stain beautifully. Um, I don't know if you're gonna coffee stain these kits, but they, they do coffee stain really, really well. Uh, there are two sheets of the children's writing paper. You've got a perpetual calendar with the flower pot on there. And then um, you've got your doily collection. So you've got um, two of the large 8-inch doilies. There's two of the six inch doilies. And there's three of the four inch rounds. I had to just pick these up, I had just dropped them. So you'll get three of the four inch rounds, okay? And then tons of bags, you guys. So you get one of the large white craft merchandise bags which, like I told you all before, this could also be used as the base of your journal. I use them. I've not ever made a journal with um, using this as the cover, but Angie has made me a couple. Um, I've seen Beth Wallen do it. Lots of people have used these larger craft bags as the cover for the journals, and they look so pretty, you guys. So, so pretty. So you can either use that as a cover or you can use it as pockets on the inside, which is what I usually do with that. You'll get this six by nine um, newsprint merchandise bag. You've got the six by nine damask bag. There's the four by six damask bag. And you've got this craft glassine bag. There's this um, teal and white striped candy sack. 
You've got this size glass seam. There's two in this size. Two in this size. You'll get three of the um, midget bags and three of the micro minis. Um, I've got the uh, invoice sheets here. So you've got the white and the carbon. And then you also have the purchase order form. There's um, plenty of journaling sheets, little inserts. So there's this one here. You are my sunshine. Smile the day away. Happy is this way. Be silly, be honest, and be kind. There's that really pretty one with the flowers on the side there. There's this really pretty pink one. There's that yellow one with the little scalloped edge on the bottom. There's this one with the bike. I love this one. Then you'll get um, one of these little memo lists, the to-do list. Uh, you've got one of these long windowed envelopes here. There's one of the short ones. You'll get a glassine envelope. You've got um, one of these vintage attendance records. A jumbo index card. A jumbo playing card. You've got two of these... Um, Two of these vintage, uh, what are these called? Planter, I don't know, flower cards. <laughs> I'm not quite sure what they called these, but it just um, tells you how to maintain and care for these plants, what they are. So you've got this one here, it says Big Blue Lily Turf, and this one is Crown Beauty. So these will vary from the different kits. So um, I have four kits available. But these cards will be different in all four kits, okay? Everything else is going to be the same. Along with even the paper collection. All the paper pattern papers are the same as well. You'll get that bingo card. There's um, this paint chip card. And the paint chip cards, they're all yellow, but they're, the shades are different. So, But they will be yellow paint chip cards, okay? Um, you've got two of the recipe cards. I've got three of the, um, what are these? Index dividers. There's one of these old blue ones. This one's like super thick. You've got two guest checks. There's this little journaling card here, places to go. You've got a um, couple of standard index cards here, along with these two cards as well. You've got a couple of playing cards that are from Canada. This one says Victoria, that one, Butch Art Gardens. There's the images on the reverse. I've got six um, blank white tags for you guys. So you can stamp those up with your images or sentiments. Um, you've got... This is the alterations tag. There's an inventory tag. A layaway tag. So all of this stuff, you guys, is always pretty similar from one kit to the next. 
um, I try to include just tons of stuff for you guys to incorporate into your journals. So um, these things are always pretty, pretty much the same from one kit to the next. Um, you've got two of this size shipping tag here. They're just blank. There's two of these smaller ones. Um, you'll get two Rolodex cards. You'll get three of these um, merchandise tags. You'll get five of the uh, French flashcards. These are always so much fun to put in the journals. There's 10 tickets. You get five in pink and five in the teal. Um, you also get, let me pull this over here. Um, I've also got some journaling sheets that I've just cut out of the um, coordinating papers. So um, you'll get five of these. I've got uh, three Polaroids for you guys. So these just flip open. You can put your photo in there and then just adhere it down. And you can journal on the back. You'll get three little um, of these, three of these little journaling cards here. Or you can use these as photo mats as well. You've got three um, mini file folders. Aren't these colors so pretty? Nice and bright. You'll get five mini envelopes. And these you guys will have to adhere. Um, they're just, they're already folded up for you, but you do have to adhere um, the flaps down. So you get five of those. You've got um, two of the large film strips and then four of the smaller ones. You've got some, um, a little swatch of the um, sewing pattern paper, tissue paper. You have a bag of paper flowers. I believe there's 10 paper flowers in here. And all colors are coordinating with the paper collection. You've got some, a bunch of die cuts. You'll get them. Um, there's butterflies and hearts. And they're, they're um, punched out from the um, pattern paper collection and some dictionary page as well. So there's tons of them in there, you guys. There's also your button and bling pack here. So there's 10 buttons and then just various um, coordinating bling in there that you can use either for flower centers or what have you. Um, you've got your little package of woodsies. There's a little bird cage, a couple of wooden buttons, a little bird and um, a butterfly. So you'll get those. And then you have your little um, bag of clips. So you've got a bunch of different paper clips here, all color coordinated. Um, you've got one of those little binder clips there. And then this little alligator clip, which you can alter. There's a couple of clothes pins, and then there's also um, three of the um, garment pins in there as well. You get an organza bag. Um, you've got your trims and your fibers. So you'll get the, um, there's two yards of each. So you got this really pretty, um, Pretty pastels is what it's called. These fibers I carry in the shop. So um, it contains all the colors that are in the paper collection. So it goes perfectly with this kit. And then you've got the chenille in the mint and the pink, the baby pink. 
and then you've got your ribbons to top off your tags or trim off your pages whatever you want to do so you get a foot in each color and I think there's five different colors so you've got that real pretty purple or lavender there's the yellow there's that real pretty glittery teal there's some green and then the pink and then um, you'll get some of this um, pink leaf trim you'll get this it's gonna look red probably on the camera but it's pink it's like it's a hot pink it's really really pretty um, pom-pom trim you've got this really dainty little lace I love this lace so you'll get a foot of that and then you'll get a foot in this lace here you'll get a little swatch of the um, teal floral rosettes and then you'll get six, I think it's six, five or six yards of seam binding. And they're all um, colors that coordinate. And I, I hand stain these all myself. So um, you'll get the yellow. There's that real pretty teal blue. There's some purple. And there's a yard of each, you guys. There's a real soft pink. You'll get the green. There's a little bit deeper pink there. And then the blue. So there's one, two, three, four, five, six. There's actually seven yards. So you'll get seven yards of the um, hand stained seam binding. Okay, and then you also will get a swatch of tulle. And this is, um, it's six feet wide and it's four feet long. So there's plenty of this to use as well. So that is the kit, everybody. Um, boy, that was easy. I'm kind of looking around, make sure I didn't leave anything out. <laughs> But that's the kit. Um, if you're interested, just email me at funkypaperjunkie at gmail.com. Send along your email address um, that you would like me to send the PayPal invoice to. And then um, you can just pay that uh, through PayPal. You don't need a PayPal account to pay the invoice. You can pay um, the PayPal invoice with any major credit card or your debit card. So you don't have to have a PayPal account to um, process the transaction. A lot of people think that if they don't have a PayPal account, they can't purchase the kits, but that's not the case. As long as you can um, pay with a major credit card or debit card, you're, you're um, good to go. So if you have any other questions for me, um, please message me. You can always leave your comments in the um, comment section below and I will um, answer your questions. And what else? Oh, I'll leave the invoice open for 30 minutes. If it's not paid within 30 minutes, then I'll have to move on to the next one. Um, and the reason that I do that, everybody, I, I don't mean to seem <laughs> pushy or anything, but there are have been several times when I've had somebody say that they're interested and then I send them an ev or, excuse me, an invoice and then I never hear back from them again. So I only leave the invoices open for 30 minutes. Um, just... For that particular reason so in case people are wondering why i only leave it open for 30 minutes that's why um what else that's it i think that covers everything so uh let me know if you guys are interested in these um thank you all so much for your interest in my kits i love making these they are so much fun and i think um they include everything you need to make a really really pretty journal so um Come and pick one up if you guys want to do that, okay? We'll talk to you all soon. Have a great night. Bye.